Salutations Wet Shaver Spencer here back for another shave video. Today I'm just going to be using products that I haven't used in a while. Um, it'll give me a chance to be able to review again um, the soap that I'm going to be using today which you will see obviously in the title. It is D.R. Harris Windsor. I don't have the packaging with me but it is a triple milled hard soap that I've stuck into the bottom of Shave Vault. Um, just because it's a hard soap that didn't come with a container which is, you know, a pain in the ass for me. I, I, I like to have a container with my soaps that, you know, I can just package and leave in shelving and whatnot. And I've got it lathered up in the shave bowl, which is absolutely awesome. It's very hard to see because it's a white bowl. For some reason, I didn't really think about that when I opted for the white over the black. Um, if I was able to choose again, I would go the grey. Um, I like the look of that that sort of like stony sort of look. It looks really good. Um, so yeah, it's a nice creamy lather in there. Whipped up with a Samoog 2000. I haven't used this brush in ages. Um, it feels awesome on the face. It's quite floppy, but super soft. Um, but I like that, man. I, I don't mind floppy brushes. I don't understand sort of the hate on it. Um, Yeah, it's just not something that's ever bothered me, hey. So, that's that. Um, just getting my post shave out. Gonna be using Barbado again. Ridiculous, so good. <laughs> I think I've been putting it a little bit on my channel, hey. It's been on every video since I've gotten it. Um, yeah, because I've just been talking to Chris at another cut above, actually, and I was like, oh, you really need to try that Barbado, and he was like, it's just everywhere on your channel mate i know whatever <laughs> i was like oh sorry um yeah anyway one day's growth we're going to be tackling it with the shave it we go on the kai kamasori absolutely love this absolutely fantastic made in japan so even they don't know english it says japan made japanese made made in japan all right just going to paste on In the base of the knot, because I've been only using the tips for the leather, it's not um, it's not all loaded in the brush. If you know what I mean, it's just on the tips of the brush. I've been getting recommendations to do that, but I haven't really been succeeding with it. Um, you know, I've just been having people say, "Oh, don't fully splay when you're bowl leathering; makes for better leathers." Um, if you guys have any tips on bowl leathering? I'd probably need to actually do a video of me bowl leathering. I should have put that in the video um, so you guys can give me pointers because, like, you know, I'm honest, I'm, I'm not a great bowl leatherer. I'm mainly, predominantly a face leatherer. Um, I start off with a bowl, but that was only for like the first month or two, and then I just face leathered. Um, and it's been face leathering for probably two years with, you know, maybe a little bit of bowl lathering here and there. Um, just before I start the shave, I'm just going to dampen the brush again. Just put a little bit more soap in the brush. It's just going back to the puck. Just for a little bit. Just so then for my next pass, I know I've got some more soap in there. So I can just add a dab of water to the bowl. And then just keep on the going. I reckon it's just um, underloading the brush is one of me pro one of me problems. Bloody Australians, man. All right, I love the feel of this brush though. Um, it's really tall and not very dense. So yeah, people will say that it's floppy. I just say it's a good ball brush, man. If you like the professional, you'll probably like the Smoke 2000. All right, this is like third use on this Kai Kamasori blade, uh, Kai Kam uh, Feather Blade Professional. I'm really enjoying this razor. This is my favorite shaver that I've got at the moment.
but I have another one on the way that I'm super excited for. Well, it's not on the way yet. I haven't, um, finalized it just yet, but some of you, I think know what, uh, what it is if you're on the shave it forum. Nice and slow in the neck, otherwise I'm going to cut myself. Very nice. Now, DR Harris Windsor. It's a good soap. It's not amazing, it's good. I would put... I know that most people wouldn't, but I would put Parasso higher than, than D.R. Harris, and also Taylor of Old Bond Street. Terrific stuff though, but I just prefer the value for money and performance of Parasso and um, uh, Tobbs, Taylor of Old Bond Street. Feeling awesome so far. I'd love to get a real Kamasuri one day. Exciting things on the way for me. Got a couple of really cool brushes. Some of you guys will be stoked for me, they're synthetic. Because I've been finding synthetics bowl leather really well. Really well. Just for me anyway. I know that people, I know a lot of people just prefer um, them for everything, but... I'm still yet to be very proficient on the shave it, so I've still got a while to go, I reckon. Um, still a little bit of trial and error and stuff going on, but all part of learning, not a problem. All right, first part, really nice. Residual slickness, it's really hard for me to determine um, with shavettes, just because they pretty much wipe off 100% of uh, residual slickness on just about all of my soaps anyway. So, just gonna give, uh, I've just added a drop of water, just a quick little, little zing in the bowl and that's just exploded from that last little load that I did before. Just what it needed, so, I feel like I will splay my brushes. <laughs> um, for bowl lathering, just because I know a couple of people are saying that it, it can damage brushes. And maybe it's just not for this brush, maybe because, I don't know. That just feels awesome. Very soft, not a lot of backbone. Who cares? Feels soft, feels like a beautifully soft ball. Nothing wrong with that at all. Better lather than my first just before, but just because I, it needed that bit of extra soap. Just to fail on my part, that's all. All right, second pass. Let's have a look here.
I'm so scared. I'm just going to go hink onto my ear. All right, that's that bit done. Now. Let's see if I can do this without dying. It's a little bit too aggressive against the grain here because it's against the grain for me, so. Just do like a diagonal. That gets way close enough. So that is against the grain on my neck, just there. That's why it's most prone to irritation for me, um, just because that just straight down is just about against the grain. But yeah, I, I, I was um, told that it's easier for this hand to be doing this side across, so. Did actually feel quite comfortable, to be honest. Did feel pretty nice. Just when we get over to the other side, it gets a little bit sketchy. I'm really shaky, man. I just had a double espresso, so I'm like... <laughs> All uh, shaky and ready to go. <laughs> ready to tackle the afternoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sort of get how uh, this can be easier. Yeah, that actually felt quite comfortable there. All right, straight down on the neck. That's this is my trouble side. You know, Kevy Shaves has his trouble side. That side was mine. <laughs> nice. That actually wasn't a bad shave. It's getting quicker and quicker with the shavettes. Which is a good feeling. And less and less nicks and cuts every time I do it. So squeeze all that leather out. It's dripping out. That's the way we like to see it. All right. Smoog 2000 performed really well. I do love that brush. It's the only Samoga I've got though. I'd love to get some more. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. Once funds start getting a little bit easier for me. No new news with the apprenticeship really. I've got a guy calling me on the weekend, so I, I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe it'll go well, maybe it won't. Um, I don't think he knows my age yet, because I'm 21. It's a little bit old to take an apprentice on. 
but there are incentives to take on people that are 18 to 25 for um, the small businesses to try and you know get people that have already left school went to uni and didn't realize that they didn't really want to do uni you know what I mean so people that make career changes so that's good um, because it is what I want to do, man. I like the, the work experience really turned my head towards it. That's, I did the course, I found the course okay, I did the work experience and I loved it. So at least I know where I want to go and where I want to be. So only positives in that, I think. All right, Barbado. Amazing, amazing post shave. Awesome aftershave splash. I like to do hefty loads of it. It's such a big bottle anyway. Beautiful moisturization properties in this. Oh, it's a bit of burn. More burn on my cheeks than on my neck. So obviously in this sort of area, I'm still trying to get that down, but that felt awesome. Really good, beautiful stuff. But Barbado, if you're watching, Add menthol. Do a nice little touch of menthol. I love menthol. Even just a menthol version, that'd be awesome. Barbado cooling. So, yeah, Barbado. Beautiful stuff. Moisturizing razor bump therapy aftershave lotion. Unfortunately, though, through transit and how, however it got to me, the, the uh, labeling's really messed, eh? Like, scratches and stuff all over it and... That's uh, that's annoying, because I don't like that. But 190 mils, that's heaps. Double or uh, almost double a regular um, regular amount of aftershave. Normally it's 100 mils, so that's good as. And for you guys that use fluid ounces, it's 6.4 fluid ounces, so it's a lot. Awesome. Let's recap what we used today. We used Dear Harris Windsor. It's good stuff, it's triple milled, gets the job done. It's Like I said, it's it's not gonna be a good artisan soap. It's just not going to. But it's triple milled, it's awesome. I love using it to break in brushes, just like that ball brush. I love, you know, using triple milleds to break in brushes. And you know, you just know that they're gonna last a long time. Um, Mitchell's Wool Fat's probably my favorite out of the triple milleds, then Tabac, and then probably this. It's really, really good stuff. Um, we used shave bowl, so soap just sits in there, you load in there, put that on top, start whipping it up in there, and you can put your brush, brush in there, awesome. They actually do a kit that sells like, I think it's a Smog 830 or an 810 or something like that with it, and um, yeah, that'll be a good fit. I'd love to be able to try get um, a Smog, uh, I love I love Samogs. I'd like to try one of their regular ones because this is supposed to be a tall bore. Um, so it's meant to be quite floppy, but I'd like to try one of their proper ones. Even a Samog Owners Club, that'd be quite cool. Anyway, use that. We used the Kai Kamasori Shavet with a feather on its second or third use. I think that might have been its third. Um, then we used Barbado as the post. Absolutely fantastic shave. Hope you guys have brilliant shaves as well. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Make, uh, make someone smile to get to the, uh. <laughs> Let's restart that. Have some fantastic shaves. Stay safe. Stay positive. Make someone else smile today, and I'll catch you in the next video. Catch you later. See ya.